Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> my name is Athena. Today I'm going to be doing my six month IUD Jadis update. If you are new to my channel, I have been on this journey. So I will leave my switching to Jadis video on cards in the corner as well as down below and also my three month Jadis update. I did answer some questions in my three month update so again I will definitely leave that for you. I probably won't be doing like a nine month update. If you guys are interested I can do a year update. Today I am just going to go through the side effects now that I have been on it for six months. I did the same thing in my three month update what I was or was not experiencing. So same thing here. The first thing that I'm going to start with is my period. I'm assuming that most of you are pretty curious about my period. If you're not familiar with Jadis, Jadis can stop your period. So basically just really quickly when I got this inserted in July, end of July, I was spotting for three weeks to four weeks. Normal is six months to a year. You can be spotting on and off, maybe one month, and then you can stop, and then you can spot for two weeks, and then stop, and then two days. It just varies, but you can have some spotting occur definitely within that first year mark. So the fact that I only really had spotting for the first four weeks max, I was like, yes. There's definitely been a few times where I've spotted. Um, I would say maybe three, four times total. So if you watched my three month update, by that point I still had no period, which is totally normal, but does not happen to everyone. In that video, I mentioned that if you are interested in an IUD just for the fact that it will stop your period, it's not guaranteed you can't tell. The only way to tell is to get on it and see what will happen. It only happens to, I think, one in every 100 women, so it's not very common. Since being on Jadis, I have had one period, and I don't mean spotting, I mean an actual period. So I had that mid-January, which when I got it, I'm not gonna lie, I had six months of no period, so when it came, I was a little devastated. Not to be like, oh my god, like I haven't had a period in six months, like, oh, look at me. But the fact that I was just so used to not having one, and then I got one, I was like, no. Now, comparing my period while I was on the birth control pill compared to Jadis, on the pill, my period was five days. It came on a Wednesday, stopped on a Sunday, and it would range between light to a little heavy, depending on the day. Usually the third day was my heaviest day. On Jada so far, the one period that I've had was seven days, but the difference is that my period is much lighter. I can use a panty liner or a light tampon for the entire day and be fine. That's kind of where it gets a little annoying because I almost rather have a regular normal period for like two days rather than having a really really light period for seven days. I have no idea if I'm gonna get a period next month. I don't know if I'm gonna get it in two months, three months, another six months. Maybe that was my only period. I'm not sure. I will keep you guys posted in the comment section. Like if I get it next month, I'll let you guys know or whenever I do get it again, I'll let you know. I'm hoping I don't get it or I'm hoping it's only like a twice a year thing because I can totally handle that. I had cramping for I think the first day or two and nothing severe. It was just annoying that it was so, so light and lasted for seven days. I was like, come on, like get the fuck out. Moving on, headaches. Yes, yes. I've noticed headaches since I got on Jadis. I probably get three to four headaches a week and it's always in the morning. Like I'll just wake up with a headache. Abdominal, pelvic pain, no. Acne, yes. 
again if you watched my last video then you kind of know a little bit so my acne started one month into having an IUD it wasn't whiteheads it was more blackheads at first and then probably about another few weeks to a month later was when the more whitehead cystic acne was coming it wasn't bad but going along the months, it is getting worse. I have started Accutane. I will be doing a full video on the process I took, just like my IUD video, same concept. I'll tell you guys side effects that I've been experiencing, cost, what I have to do. Again, that's a whole different video. Oily skin, I already had oily skin to begin with. I haven't noticed any more oil. Ovarian cyst, no. Inflammation of the external genital organs and vagina, no. Depression, mood swings, no. Migraine, um, sometimes, but before I was also kind of getting migraines, it's more of like headaches. Feeling sick, no. Upper genital tract infection, no. Breast pain or discomfort, um, not so much breast pain, but sensitive nipples. I'm associating that with breast pain. My nipples, I feel like are more sensitive than they were before. Hair loss, no. Back pain. In my last video, I said that I was experiencing more back pain, but I've also had back pain since high school. I've gone to physiotherapy, so I don't necessarily think it was my um, IUD. And I also stand all day for work. That's kind of it. Overall, my experience is great, minus the acne. That's definitely like the number one downfall for me, but thankfully acne is curable. I love that I don't have to take a pill or I don't have to worry about taking a shot. I just don't have to worry about it for years and I love that. I haven't had a period in six months. That's nice and I'm, again, I'm hoping that that stays that way. I do recommend Jadis. Of course, everyone's different, but I've had a great experience on it so far and it's definitely something I would do again. That's, that's it for this video. Again, if you have any other questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Toodles.